Hello there, my name is Matthias and I'm one of the lead developers on the Shapeshifter software uh, by Flame Fusion. And uh, today we're going to look at how to use Shapeshifter and how it basically works and how it will increase your productivity. So um, let's start it up for the first time. Let's just say that I just installed it from the website and I'm going to launch it from the first time. The first thing I'll see is that it asks me which mode I want to use. Now there are three modes. Mixed mode is integrated mode and external mode combined. So I'll just start out by explaining an integrated mode and then go over to external mode afterwards. Um, integrated mode will allow me to uh, manage items by holding down Control V. So basically I, if, I, if I've copied three items with Control C, then I can then afterwards hold down Control V and use the arrow keys to manage the selected item and browse through the history that way. Um, I can then also delete items by hitting the delete key while still holding down Control V. Now in external mode I'll be presented with a lot of uh, virtual window previews which will, uh, will actually represent the data that I have copied and I can using the mouse select uh, the clipboard uh, history item that I want. Um, I'm gonna select mixed mode and I'm just gonna um, uh, you know demonstrate each individual feature and, and uh, tell you uh, which uh, mode it belongs to uh, when, when we get started. So I click get started and it says alright you're done. However please take a look at our settings. You'll be presented with them now but you can choose to shut them down. Note that you can also access these settings later by right clicking the shapeshifter tray icon. Now there's a lot of settings for shapeshifter but for now we'll just shut this dialog down and I'll get back to it later. Okay, so Shapeshifter is basically running now. I can see that by looking at the uh, tray icon down here. And um, basically when it's running, you know, I don't change existing habits. I can go in here and I can actually go ahead and copy some text. So I want to select this data. I want to right click and hit copy. I want to select this uh, data here and I hit control C to copy. There we go and I select uh, some other text, I copy that and that's basically it. Now if I look down here at my taskbar this is the external mode acting in. Uh, external mode allows me to just select an item uh, basically let's say I'm such a cheater and I can then paste all I want. I can also paste using control V but basically I can select different items uh, by selecting different windows down here. And I can uh, close the items by closing the windows. So basically basically I can clear up my clipboard history as well. Okay, so basically this is all really good but uh, not very suitable for power users who prefer using Control c and Control v like myself. So we, inv we invented the uh, integrated mode which allows me to uh, hold down Control v to manage my items instead. So if I just hit Control v right now, I'll do that now, there we go, you'll see that it, it just pastes the last item. Everything works as it normally would. However, if I choose to hold down Control v I get a list of the items that are in my clipboard. And I'm still holding down Control v now, by the way. And I can use the arrow keys to select which item I want, and I can then release Control v to actually paste that item. So it feels really natural. You don't change your existing habits. There's no tray icon. There are no context menus to select from. And there's no tedious list to uh, browse, browse you through. Now, um, um, Shapeshifter supports any format out there. Um, so it'll work for images. It'll work for files. Let's say I go in here and I have an image ready already. Uh, already. Um, and I take this region here and I basically copy it. Now, how does that look like in Shapeshifter? Well, let's take a look. I've now copied an image, and as you can see, the image is actually the background of the, the list box item itself. Uh, so that way, you know, it's really easy to distinguish between items, and that's what we focused a lot on. Now, what happens if I want to copy a file? I already have some sample data in here, and I copy a file here. The same thing works. Um, you know, I hold down Control V. I see some details regarding the file. You know, I get a preview of it, 
and I can actually still use control uh, V, v uh, and use the uh, up and down keys to navigate through the list or you know I can I can actually um, use my old navigation method here and in the external mode I can still see all the items they are represented by uh, um, proxy windows okay so let's say I have a collection of files you know how do we present that to the user because that's that's actually uh, quite a hard task uh, but a collection of items looks just like this so basically we get the total amount of items we get uh, and we show the different types of items and how many of every type there is so basically we see a lot of icons uh, and it's very easy to distinguish between items um, and 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 do get your work done okay alright so that's basically a quick demo of shapeshifter as it is right now um, we are constantly working on it, we're constantly ma maintaining it, and we're constantly adding new languages as well. If you right click the tray icon down here in the lower right hand side, you'll see that there's an option called Help Translate Shapeshifter. So if there's no translation available for your language, you might want to click this and help us translate. We actually take that very seriously and within days we will put your translation into work. But let's take a look at the uh, settings dialog in Shapeshifter. Right now, you may have noticed that Shapeshifter is actually using some kind of color theme. You know, uh, right now everything is blue, um, and I can actually adjust that color all I want. So let's say that uh, I want to pick a different color. Right now, it's actually using the color from the control panel. So here I have my uh, customized color, and I can change it all I want, and, I, and you can see that Shapeshifter changes along with it. Even if I have the window open, I can see that it changes as I change the color. However, if I want to pick a different color, that's a different story. Let's say that I want to do that and I go in and you know I have a red color theme, but I don't like Shapeshifter in red. So I go ahead and disable the Use Windows Arrow uh, key functionality, and I then go in and adjust the color as I want to. As you can see, the color adapts as I move the slider and it actually adapts in the live interface as well. Um, so you get a really, really good preview of how the interface looks and you can customize it uh, to whatever you want. Okay. Under the miscellaneous section you can choose whether or not Shapeshifter should launch when Windows starts and you can change the mode which we already went through. Um, furthermore, um, you can adjust some performance and stability uh, items, for instance, uh, our incineration memory cleanup technology. Now, it was already enabled, so re-enabling it, it won't clean up much, as you can see. It just cleaned up zero megabytes, but if we take a look at the memory consumption, we'll notice that it's 8.5 megabytes. That's actually included with uh, the clipboard items in your memory, but they are highly compressed, and this incineration technology uh, is pretty good at at reducing the memory costs and the memory consumption.